Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Monday, November 1st, 2021. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The Nevis Postal Service held a ceremony on Friday, October 29th to award its members of staff for their sterling service over the past year. The event is held annually in observance of World Post Day, October 9th. Deputy Postmistress Rhonda Forbes Williams announced this year's winners of a Awards. We move on to the Postman of the Year Award. And in first place, number one, as the staff voted and verified by the Ministry of Communications, it's none other with 27 votes, Doreen Hendrickson. The deputy postmistress also announced the winner of the Officer of the Year Award. In first place, according to the votes by the staff and verified by the Ministry of Communications, none other than Sandra Southwell. Congratulations, Ms. Southwell. Congratulations. Special awards were also presented to staff members Shineth Skeet, Anika Lyburn Hanley, Teresa Emilian, Christopher Clark, and Kareem Daniel. These awardees go beyond the call of duty and get the job done, even if it means going the extra mile. Elliston Stanley and Brent Lapsey of the St. Kitts Postal Service were also presented with awards of appreciation for their dedication and service to the Nevis Postal Service. The awards were presented by Minister of Posts, the Honorable Spencer Brand. Congratulations to all of the awardees today. While there may have just been a few persons recognized this year, for the various positions. I want to say to all of you that you are all winners. You should take credit as well for all of the awards that would be distributed here this morning because I believe that you was a part of the entire team, including those who would have received the award today. So I want to say to all of the awardees, congratulations and keep moving forward. A lunch sponsorship award was also presented to one student, while five residents, one from each parish, were presented with new mailboxes, a gift from the Nevis Postal Service. The following is a notice from the Premier's Ministry. The annual interdenominational service for Remembrance Day will be held at 8 a.m. on Sunday, November 14, 2021 at the War Memorial in Charlestown. The general public is advised that, due to the regulations currently in force to prevent community spread of the coronavirus, which causes the COVID-19 illness, only armed units and persons who have been invited to represent their organizations are expected to attend this service. The service will commence with a two-minute period of silence signaled by the firing of a gun at 8 a.m. All persons, whether attending the service or not, are asked to observe this moment by keeping the silence, which includes the halting of all vehicular traffic. The Nevis Island Administration appreciates the understanding and cooperation of all. Still to come, OAS and UAGM offer scholarship opportunities. The details after this break. The population and housing census will be conducted this year and so I'm taking this opportunity to invite as many persons as possible to participate. The census produces valuable information that can help all of us. The Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs 
depends on such information so that we can make informed decisions as it pertains to public health and other related services. We are indeed happy to be a part of this very important event. It's you, me, us, 2021 census. Hashtag be counted. Welcome back. The Ministry of Human Resources and the Nevis Island Administration is informing of scholarship opportunities offered by the Organization of American States, OAS, in a collaboration with the Anna G. Mendes University. The programs offered are Master of Education with a specialty in teaching English as a second language, Master of Business Administration with a specialty in management, Master of Business Administration administration with a specialty in finance, Master of Arts with a specialty in forensic science, Master of Science in Nursing with a specialty in advanced family practice, and Master of Public Affairs with a specialty in criminal justice. For information on these and other programs, application and scholarship process, course duration, eligibility, scholarship selection criteria and process, visit www.oas.org slash scholarships. Applicants are required to register online via the university's website, ANAGMENDEZ.net. Applications should be sent to the Ministry of Human Resources by Wednesday, November 22nd, 2021 for onward processing. Should you have any questions or concerns, send an email to scholarships at oas.org. The Honorable Alexis Jeffers hosted his final activity to break down the curtains on his 10th anniversary since he first engaged in politics. On Saturday, October 30th, a number of persons accompanied Minister Jeffers on a health walk from the roundabout in Cotton Ground along the Island Main Road over to Herbert's Beach. And I want to thank everyone behind me and everyone who supported this effort for us to have this walk this morning. Uh, it is an effort that I, be, I believe was uh, well appreciated by everyone. As a matter of fact, most persons are saying that we should probably have this once per month. And I think that will be the intention moving forward. The whole idea of this walk, though, is to promote uh, health, healthy lifestyles, uh, healthy eating, and healthy well-being. And, of course, we have uh, seen that from most of the folks here who normally would do their own thing on a given day. But today was uh, about bringing persons together to enjoy the company of each other and to enjoy this particular event together as well. So that being said, I believe we are on our way to something good in terms of having a similar activity. And I want to admonish and encourage persons out there to do similar activities because uh, collectively we have a role to play to promote a healthy community and a healthy society. And it is through these efforts that I believe we can accomplish such. Minister Jeffers' anniversary month of activities also included a white goods cleanup in the St. James Parish and St. Thomas's Parish. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.